<laughs> but the fact that he's entertain entertaining it shows me that he's the pagan I always thought he was, blood. <laughs> He's that guy, bro. I, did, I didn't see it. Like I thought, you know, the I thought if anything, he'd return to you, man. Or personally, I thought this story was done. In bro, he of, never bro, wanted to come, bro. He never wanted to come back to Man United. You know the amount of times he's used us for a new contract year yeah, or a move somewhere mm. else, talking about oh, it'd be nice to come home. He's never wanted to come home, bro. And Man United fans are so dumb they can't see that Ronaldo just uses us to get new deals all the time, bro. He's been coming back three times. Mm. Three times he's been coming back, bro. Okay, no. It's too, Still nothing. It's too, emo too much emotion attached to the guy. I'm not looking at it. Jolting, bro. Man, man gave his best years to Real Madrid, and these men are in love with him, bro. Mm, kind of act like, yeah. Some United fans, I don't feel they've ever moved on. And I know it's difficult, but it's like... They yeah, haven't moved on. For time, fam. Bro, they haven't moved on, bro. Still move like he's still at Old Trafford. But this, this is what I'm trying to say. They haven't moved on, bro. And the thing is, yeah, what's jarring for me is, yeah... We've actually, them man treat him like he's a homegrown player when we bought him for peas, yeah? And we were always a stepping stone for him to go to Real Madrid. We were always there. Mm -hmm. Real Madrid was his dream club. He let man know from early. He wanted to leave. Silent Ferguson said, boom, give us one more season, innit? Because Real Madrid were tapping him up and Real Madrid were on his radar. He was always going to Real Madrid anyway. Man United was just a pit stop. When you know them? Yeah, yeah but, but, but that's it. But then man disrespect players yeah that are come through our youth system and actually want to be here and give it a 100 for us and this player's just been using man for contracts allow it mm, mm, i'm not mm, here for it i'm mm. not here for it bro if, if man want to wanna you... go man city go that's it but people are too emotionally charged to see both sides of the debate man it's either one side or the other man apparently yeah, he said he's a slave at man united raw yeah he did bro man said he bro, felt like bro. a slave and that because man bro. united wouldn't let him leave blood raw raw bruv Wow. You man don't remember that because I do. I can't Some of you lot that. probably wow. were old enough. Some of you lot were old enough to remember that. He said it, bro. Wow. Wow. Man said he feels like a slave, bro, because Man United wouldn't let him go. I know he said a Mazza when he wanted the year before he wanted to the year before he, 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 he left. I know he was saying a lot, but the slave one, boy. Yeah, no, nah, he said it, bro. He said it. Th those are official quotes, fam. Someone just commented he loves Ferguson, not United. I think that's about right. Fair play. You know, it's a yeah. father figure that he may or may not have ever had once Once he got passed. Once his period. dad passed away, Salik Ferguson kind of looked after him, bro. But man did say mm. the slave thing. He did 100%. <laughs> bro. To be fair, 100%. you do see them slave comments posted on football, but bro, comparing himself as a baller to a slave is a bit of a master, even at the bro. time. 100%. <laughs> yeah, I'm saying it. And, and this is... Um, and this is fair, bruv. Do you know what I'm saying? Mbappe did use PSG as a stepping stone to go to Real Madrid as well. But also, yeah, mm. um, what you have to remember as well is that Real Madrid um, have been tapping him up for like two years, bruv. What, Mbappe? That, yeah. Longer than that since my man was a youth, bro. Well, he's yeah. but since he was a proper youth, that's always been him, innit? They've been on to him probably since 14, 15. You, see, you know, you always see things surfacing that he had a tour and all of this. They've been tapping him up for time. Yeah, like because the funny thing is, he went online, um, he went um, he went on trial at Chelsea, think he didn't get in there, and then... L. It's, yeah, and it's like, bruv, them man have been, um, they've been tapping him up for a hot, hot, hot minute. Since he was a boy, literally. Like you said, it's a stepping stone. I mean, his dream's always been Real Madrid. PSG should have known this. Where PSG are at fault, you know, obviously Messi's come in, but how you can let one of your prime assets get into this contractual situation, I don't know. You should have made man commit last year to a deal. They probably were a bit laxed and assumed that he would always take anything in front of him. And now the man wants to realise his dream, which, boy, if you can get money, it's decent, but you're not going to get what you paid for him, at least how it stands. Yeah. There you go, bro. Man and and that's what I'm saying, bruv. And when Ronaldo left, man called Madrid his home, bruv. Man never called Manchester his home. He's never called Manchester his home. <laughs> he's not he's never called Man... Bruv, he's never called Manchester his home, but these fans are... Bruv, you know what it is? These men have been starved of good times, yeah? These men have got no pride left. <laughs> that's what it nah, is. That's how I feel a bit uh, as Arsenal fans, when fans go... These men have got no pride left, bro. And it's and I notice it's the younger ones as well, bruv. It's because man never man never grew up through the times that I grew up through, innit? Mm. Man grew up even, through... Do you know what it is? I don't even think it's that. I just think the new generation, man are loyal to players. Like, we listen, we all love Ronaldinho and Ronaldo, but we love our club equally. They're, people are loyal to players. Like bro, said, I love my club. Bro. I love my club more than I love all these past legends, bro. That's the That's funny it. thing about it. And it's like... 
ideologies and that, not the club, man. Bear man want to say, oh, yeah, man, are you a real fan? Are you a real fan? Bro, through thick and thin, man's always here, cuz. This is you what I'm saying. Like we're always, we're always here. We're always part of this. As much as we say the club pees us off, this, that, and the other, man, still, still here. Waffling about them, man, still here through thick and thin, through every player, through fucking Gabriel Obertan, through David fucking Bellions, up, through fucking Jemba Jemba, through Cleberson, half, through all of them. I've been here, fam, and I've seen it. You know, like oh, that. I've seen it. A man are grieving over Ronaldo, a brother that left us here. Not only did he leave us, he forced a move here, and he's never come back since. And then the last time he was back, he scored and he celebrated and backed his top off. Is man all right? These man are in I have to admire the bastardry from Ronaldo, man. Have no, to but bruv, you're running behind a girl like though, would not you? Have some pride, innit? <laughs> have some pride. Man's throwing rocks at the window, bruv. She's in the yard with another guy. She's have some pride. Out. You see her legs in the eyes. In the <laughs> <laughs> bro, man said Madrid's his home, you know. And man is still going on like he's a Man United player, bro. Like, bruv, since the day he left Man United, he was never a Man United player again, bro. And he never thought about Man United. <laughs>